Hi YouTubers, how are you? Today I'm gonna present you with something really really good. I wanted to buy this model from long, for a long time and now it was reduced. It is reduced. Was and is. So for the people who don't appreciate that specific information and all the details they can always fast forward or click stop watching but who for the people who really appreciate everything about opening like it's really experienced like their own and all the information when you pause and you can read it I appreciate that because myself I like to have a documentation of the product specifically information about the model and everything about it because this one is obsolete or they don't make it anymore so it's discontinued I should say okay oh, even on the bottom there is something That's on German. <laughs> German, French, and Italian. Okay, of course, made in China. But that's how it looks like. That's really not big box. But I'm gonna wait for my wife. I just wanted to make all the technical information available on the box for you guys. So you can have it if you like it, if you don't like it, as I said, just fast forward. Just give me a second, I'm waiting for my wife, because when I recorded something, it's not so easy without my wife. See you in a bit. There you go, my cameraman is here. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, my love. Okay, she is taking over. Okay. That's how it, how it looks like compared to my beautiful head. <laughs> it's pretty squarey, it's not too big, has nice this handle. It's very, very, very good. So it's here. Right? inside Let's save the box for the later transportation stuff see I bought in Germany and I'm gonna just just gonna do this so 168 grams okay body now back to the opening we have one wing and we have a second wing going to this position so both wings go like this they're really really nice let's weigh them too. One is 71 gram. Left right wing 71 grams. Why I'm weighing them? 
I'm trying to uh, to make this model eventually, even if it's an only sail plane, by removing this beautiful. Hear that? I like that sound. By removing this beautiful motor and everything, and pushing the CG, which is basically here, pushing the CG forward, and I want to achieve 250 grams flight weight because of the restriction. Everybody knows about that restriction. So this is really kind of funny to remove. I found when you press this one up, like this, then this kind of spreads out and I think it's easier yeah to put it back like this lots of people complained about this it's not too bad so you press it here and you press it you press it here right and when you squeeze you kind of squeeze that too see it's easily removed basically inside what do we have we have a xt60 we have a 2.4 AS3X stabilization sport receiver, 6 channel. We have uh, the really, really small blade, a 30 amp Fat uh, Regla on German, <laughs> uh, or ESC, so electronic speed controller, beautiful brushless motor and uh, the cabin. Left wing, we have a nice 9 gram metal geared bowl connection, clavis type, and same thing on the right. A special thing, patent protected, so it's so easy to put the plane together like never before. Of course, you have to pull this out and put the servo where servo goes. So basically, put servo here. We're not gonna do that now. I just want to show you how it's easy to put it together. Actually, yeah, it's here. It's here. to pull the, the carbon fiber rod and we stick it through here so easy keep the same distance and then we just put it here and then before that you plug the servos you plug this thing here plug this thing here and align it with this plastic and with this styrofoam and everything and you just make sure that you don't see and when you remove it you just plug it here press here I mean so it clicks and same thing on this side excited so servo connection not now but just want to show how it should be relatively easy I have never done this before okay clicks it clicks here now and that's it now I'm gonna weigh it down again this is how it looks like it's beautiful plane And now it weighs without the battery 320 grams, right? 320 grams, it's not touching anything. 320 grams, we're gonna shut this off, put it away without the battery. So I'm trying to achieve this, remove this, remove this, even put this, push this front 
I put the smaller receiver battery and then use it as a as a normal binder on, on the hang, slope soaring, in order to keep the 250 gram recommended, uh, actually allowed, not recommended, but allowed uh, the weight for unlicensed flying of the models. Removing it's so easy, so you press here, you press here, it clicks and then you remove it. Same thing. Maybe you push wing a little bit forward and then press. So, yeah, it clicks. Oh, this one is a little bit tougher. Oh yeah, that is. This one is a little bit. See, there is zero. And a left wing. That's a right. Uh, that's a left wing. A right wing is a little bit, a little bit play. But that's that's minor. So you can keep it inside uh, the body, or you can put it aside. And you see how it's nice. It's amazingly compact. Look at that. That's amazingly compact. That's like probably, let's see, 20, 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters. So it's less than a foot by a foot. And plus this. And plus the battery. <laughs> this, uh, this is my old battery. It's very, very old. See? 2050, 2005 actually, and I always put this to prevent anything. So good thing about this, you can still use it directly here. So you plug minus to minus, and you plug this one there, there, and it works. Even if you have the ES3, this is ES3, but just without connectors. Right? I can bind it. Uh, let's, what we have more here, let's remove this thing here just to finish opening it. Okay. Oh, okay. We have another cabin. Ooh, that's nice. Different cabin. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? See. Oh, now I see. This one is more streamlined. More streamlined. Uh, this one is for just a different. Uh, let's try this one on. Oh. Okay. Let's push this one around here. Snaps on. That's uh, not really streamlined, but that's okay. So this one gives you better option if you want to use the different style of the, of the camera, HD camera. This is like the FPV camera. If you want only FPV, and if you want to record with some other camera, like a different type, then use this. See? And that's it. That's basically it. That's very nice. That's one side. What do we have here? Okay. Box. No, we have manuals. And it's nice, it's all in English, but it's nice. I don't know what's this. What's the point? Focus pattern. It says focus pattern. I really don't know. What is that? Focusing? <laughs> Get you mad or hypnotized? 
that's basically it. Plus, we have these different sheets for the decoration. Let's see what kind we have. Horizon Theory W Spectrum. This one. This one, kind of burning design. This one, oh, I like this one. This is more like a happy bee style, a honey bee. And this is a standard one. So that's it. Opening is like that. Probably I'm gonna bind it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to run it for you just to see how it looks like. Give me a second. Okay, second portion of my recording. I just charged a little bit more my transmitter and here I'm charging this small battery. By the way, that's a two cell battery. And charging current is 800 milliamps, 8.2 volts, 8196. It's it's enough. I'm using this uh, power supply. It's only 2.5 volt uh, amps. I'm gonna stop this. Now this is my adapter. I made for the. Okay, maybe it's hard for me to record. Can you take over, please? Because I wanna take this apart. So this entraption, I made it myself. So this is not very good work, but it works f good. I burnt a little bit of these uh, multiplex six pin connectors, but it works good for the first time. It's okay. So let's do this. According to the manuals, yeah, that's the setup we need to put. Choose the different, like a brand new model, memory channel, and that's the binding process. Let's do this. Okay, first, put it here in the shade so it's gonna be better. Go to system setup, model select. Add new models. Add new model. Create new model. Aircraft type. Normal, I think. What does it say here? Assign channel 5 gear to 3 position switch B. Where is B in my case? B is here. One, two. That's a bind button. I don't like that. No. Bind is I. B is this one. One, two, three. So it has to be zero, one, and two. Okay. That's okay with me. Zero. So let's go to the channel assigned. Side. They said five is gear, right? Switch, switch B. So we're gonna go to switch B. Okay, go back, it should be B, 
everything else is the same da -da 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 -da. throttle out start let's do this so they gave me this but I already have it here my small interruption here bind plug we're gonna plug the bind plug where the plug, bind plug goes so basically goes here ah, I can remove it I made it nice and clever so I can remove it mm -hmm. goes this way new receivers they go with the bind button which is much much better so I go usually here to system setup and I go yes and I go all the way down to bind check bind here we go plus to plus minus go to the that, that guy here makes sound and it's blinking so it's in the bind mode. And I go here, and just press this guy here. Binding. DSMX 11 milliseconds. Telemetry. Bind complete. Bind complete. So they say turn it off completely. Pull the bind. Plug. Put it back where it belongs. A small handy thing here. So can put it this way or this way doesn't matter shut the complete system down you can come on this side maybe it's better light and then turn this thing on transmitter first put the plus to plus and minus to this one here minus to minus black on black Advance it a little bit, put it down. Now it should work. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sexy. <laughs> now maybe I should put because we have too much sun here in Canada. By the way, it's uh, December 6th, Saint Nicholas. My son's Albert birthday. 28. It doesn't matter, right? You don't want to know about that. But I just want to show you how this is very, very sexy. We're gonna do now complete, complete assembly again. But this stuff is gonna go with plugging everything in nicely, like the way we should. Actually, first put this here. Oh, we don't have to. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go this way, so that means it goes this way. Not really. A little bit of resistance. Let's see this way. No. So it goes, definitely goes this way. So for the next time. Let's see. Yeah, it works. Okay, we plug this one here. All the way in. Make sure that we don't jam this cable. It's inside. There you go, locks. And do the same thing with the right wing. So pull the servo cable extension from the wing this time we have to put it here yeah this one is a little bit looser that's good and like we did in the first time put these contacts up right and plug it in hmm. it did work maybe oh maybe this one is different maybe this one goes down yeah I think so yeah this one is different again align it nicely see on the bottom one you look it goes like this and you just 
press it, press it, put this thing back, or we can just use this Velcro for the battery. Battery is tiny and small. It's not designed for this. Actually, you can just leave it inside. For now, right? AS3 working. Works. So now, in position, that's uh, a B switch, zero, it should be working like when we move it to the left, it should correct down, up, and one position should be less limiting and in the second position. AS3 should be working, but we should operate without the as the right. Right curve. I do good. This one goes up. This one goes down. It's pushed down. Left curve. This wing is pushed down. This wing, the right wing is left up and up or down. When you pull it to yourself, it's up. When you pull it toward, it's down. So everything works fine. And motor. Even with the two cell, right? Now, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna just measure. We're gonna take it out. We're gonna measure with this thing here. I'm gonna use my, I made this one, multiplex thing here too. We're gonna measure the battery goes in, right? So black to black, red to red, and 7.95, and these things go inside. See, there's no way you can put it here. There's no way you can put it here. So you have to put it this way. You have to put like the black up, because this is not gonna fit anyway, so you cannot make it damage. No, but this circle one, Will be go, going inside. Should go right. Should go inside. Should fit. Hmm. It's a little bit tight, but they say in the manuals it should fit. Hmm. You can leave that. I just have trouble fitting this thing here. Okay, now it's a little bit tight, but it works. Black to black, red to red. And now we're gonna try to see how much power this small 830 milliamp hour battery, two cells, 7.4, how much power? And it's not completely, it wasn't used for years and years. How much power it draws? Like, we're gonna first go left and right. Transmitter low battery. Transmitter oh, low battery. sorry about that. We have to, we have to charge it more. <laughs> That's the thing. I did. I was hoping to get enough juice to, to just do this, but no. You will have to give me a couple minutes. <laughs> well, batteries are batteries. Okay. Okay, I plugged it in the wall. It's 6.8, so I'm gonna be very quick. It's there. I'm gonna plug it here. Works. Hmm. Oh, wait five seconds. He's doing his procedure. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it works. So. This is perfectly aligned. This one is perfectly aligned because it's zero position, first one and the second one. So there's no, this is pretty good. They record that they suggest that you unscrew, uh, pick this off the bowl and then 
just the clavis so it should be perfectly like this and of course your inside left and right ailerons they should be zero right they should be in zero neutral position anyway we concentrated more now on the power so we're gonna do test small battery again 8.1 volt maximum power 8.4 Because this battery is too small and it's not charged properly but I just want to show you it's really powerful it's really powerful powerful system considering that this thing is very very small and light let's check this there you go on Put this butter here, turn that off, let it charge, zero grams. So this one looks like a bigger one. Let's measure that. This one is 21 gram, 21 gram. This one is 21 gram. Come on, same. So I guess plastic, tiny plastic is really nothing. <laughs> Okay, let's put it together and let's measure the weight now. Wait, 365 with the small battery. And that battery is only, so again, 365, 344, 364, right? 365. So that small battery is only 45 grams. 45 grams. And the CG, right? CG is here. See, it's way, way back. So it's here, basically. See, it's here. You need to, you need to put it here. So you need to move all that weight here, put the bigger battery or heavier battery, but I want to move it here in order to maintain 250 grams. Uh, but this thing is really, really nice. I like the removing. Uh, look at the profile. Removing is just put the pressure a little bit here. Unplug it slide, slightly. Unplug that thing first, if you wanna. Hmm. Oh, it's jammed there already. Hmm. It's a really tight fit. I don't like this. relatively new stuff so whoops yeah I want to show you the profile how I love the profile look at this as a normal profile and bottom one shows you the, the speed if the wing has that it's not flat on the bottom of course that it means only one thing that wing is designed for speed and of course of course it can fly faster and slower which is nice Okay, a little bit more force. Now I'm a little bit used more. But portability is the key. That's why I want to keep it lightweight. If I succeed in doing this lightweight and keep it under 250 grams, that would be success. Thanks for watching. Thanks my wife for recording and having patience with me. See ya. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. <laughs>